Welcome to the second le lesson of the course Basic in Supply Chain Management. In this lesson, we are going to focus on the value activities, on the value chain activities in a supply chain. The main question, of course, is, is how can we add value to a supply chain? So if we look to any supply chain, we have material suppliers, we have the logistics, we have the production, sales and marketing, and it's going to our customers. So how can we create a so-called value chain? In a value chain, we are going basically in the opposite direction. We are looking from a customer point of view who needs some planning, innovation, product de uh, development, and from there we go to our suppliers. So in a value chain, we are not looking primarily to cost, but we are looking to value. Because value is what you get and not what it costs. How does that work? So value is always relative to our competition. If our competition is bringing the same part, then the value is basically equal for everybody. And the customer will never say that you, your supply chain is adding additional value. Value is always from a customer perspective. So I can think as a producer that I'm adding value, but if the custom is, customer is not perceiving that, then we do not talk about added value. What can added value be? A customer service, what is more than your competition, better quality and more utility or price. All the other elements are elements what we call, call non-value added. Those non-value added activities, those should be uh, eliminated. And that is exactly one of the elements we try to strive in a lean management approach. So again, value, it's from the customer perspective and it's relative to the customer. And everything else is a non-value added. In our value proposition, we should be the best at something. That can be in decision making and in the score processes, what we will discuss in another course, there are the plan and enable processes, but it can also be in execution, the source, make and delivery. Looking to that SCAR model, we have all connected activities which can bring value to my supply chain. What types of value we can look at? For instance, economies of scale. Uh, that means that I'm producing more I have volume to produce and that brings value most of the time in price. That can also be on the location I'm located. So if I have warehouses in all the countries, that might give an additional value. It is also possible that I bring value because I understand a certain culture. That can be a Muslim culture, that can be a culture of uh, uh, North American people. If I understand that culture, I can add value. But again, as mentioned before, always relative to my competition. I can bring in new technology. A nice example on that one is where the value proposition is high, it's Tesla. Tesla brought new technology in the market. And they had an added value in comparison with, for instance, Mercedes or Volkswagen. To bring in that added value also for Volkswagen and Mercedes, they had to invest a lot in electrical cars. They succeed at this moment, but other competitors, they are still behind and missing that added value in technology. Of course, it can also be an added value in resources. I can deliver the resources. A nice example of that one is, for instance, outsourcing um, computer 
uh, knowledge to, for instance, Indian companies. They have the resources, high-skilled resources, and be on that market. Value proposition, very important in adding value to your company. Next to that, we can distinguish the three value disciplines. First of all, we can look at uh, product leadership. A nice example on that one is, of course, Apple computers. Apple is always leading, having high quality on their product. They make that as their core part. Are they the cheapest one? Operational excellent. Having the best processes, the most efficient processes, that's not the case. Maybe in that one, in the mobile phone world, we have to look at Huawei or Huawei, how you want to pronounce it. A typical example of operational excellence is, of course, McDonald's. McDonald's is having a process what is standard worldwide on all the factories. They copy that process and will be efficient in all their uh, shops. The opposite is, of course, customer intimacy. If we are looking at customer intimacy, then we will have and add the value by making the customer happy, having a high response on every customer request. It might be uh, logical that if I'm focusing on customer intimacy, that I cannot be the most efficient organization or that I lose something on the product leadership. So most of the times we are looking into one direction of the value discipline. Because if we want to strive all three or two of them, that usually ends up that you are somewhere stuck in the middle. Want to learn supply chain in an easy to understand format and take your career to the next level? Head over to scmdojo.com 